Here is it now the finished product of my combined walk-in freezer and chiller control box using Dixel and Aruki control. Welcome guys, today we're going to build or continue the assembling of walk-in freezer and chiller. And this is my part two. Part three is being uploaded ahead of part two. I use used materials here, but still working, don't worry. Now, let's talk about the MCBs. Here's, here is my RCD here, and my neutral is blue. And as you can see, we have a brown here for the phase one, and black for the phase two, and gray for the phase three. And this one is rated 10 amps, 100 amps, I mean. But if you want to use the standard band, use only 35 to 40 ampere. So here's my three MCB, three phase, but only the compressor is the three phase here. So the defrost and blower fan for the freezer side is I'm going to use the single phase so this is my inline compressor vaporator fan for my load phase one so that's all for my phase one and here is the contactor for the evaporator fan and later i'm going to take the overload from the existing so i will lay out this because doing this is consuming a lot of time and for my second phase which is the black one uh, I load it to my defrost here, the defrost, and after that, this is now a single phase, as you can see there is a neutral line here, and then I supplied also the compressor and the evaporator fan of the chiller side, so this is my load for the phase 2, I'm balancing, and my phase 3, which is gray, which the gray also supplied here and it goes directly to here here is the gray i supplied the control for the freezer and the chiller so i separate ones just in case i'm going to troubleshoot one one of these so i can separate i can simply turn off and do the troubleshooting if ever and that gray extend to three single pole here and this will be my spear if ever and for that I also supplied the light circuit for the cold room and heater if ever I'm go I will trace the pipe heater as well as the frame heater so they have a separate circuit so that's all about our RCD here our protection I did not use face monitoring relay now. The wiring color cord I use is under UK standard because we are living in or working in Brunei. So I just follow the color code. And let's try to wiring it up. So the wiring connection for this is simple. Just simply use bus bar on top, but because I have uh, different MCBs from three phase to single phase to single pole. So I I use wires as my bash bar instead, and as intended, just wire up the MCB for the freezer compressor to the contactor with overload there. And next is the blower fan with the contactor, but the overload I'm going to take from the existing unit. Just proceed to the other contactor with the MCB as well. And we are now wiring up the compressor uh, contactor to the uh, Dixel control. So from here, I made a series video uh, prior to the installation of this control panel box, a dual freezer and a chiller. And I discussed there how to wire this freezer side. 
and here is the reality now guys now i'm wiring up the four indicators for the compressor blower fan defrost and trip so i'm wiring up the neutral line and and the trip light which is the black one it goes to the overload of the contactor for the compressor and that is for the freezer side on top of this is the freezer side freezer side and the lower part is the chiller side and now i'm topping the live wire and it connect to the a1 contactor of for the freezer and that is being connected to the line number three of the dixel and that is the compressor and i'm supplying a neutral for the a2 of the freezer compressor contactor and i will use this connector here so i have a neutral line now the connection of this one guys is very simple just use simple analysis and you can do it without any problem so i have a sketch here if you want i'm going i'm going to show up the here's the black diagram just in case you needed it the connection is simple from MCB to contactor to overload and connect it to the compressor in the outdoor unit and it's all done as simple as that and now we're going to wire up the blower signal signal came from the pixel that is line number two and as well as I'm going to supply also the blower light indicator so here I'm wiring up and this white one here goes to the contactor A1 or coil and just put a neutral and your coil is now supplied and as you can see I am looping the neutral from the contactor and supplying the coil of the contactor as simple as that so you may apply this all to your circuit breaker with the contactor that is in relation of course with the dixel as simple as that now about the programming i have a lot of tutorial on how to program both freezer and chiller and after that we now proceed to the defrost and i'm now supplying both the trip light and the coil of the conductor for the defrost now i'm using yellow line here i don't have with me a tiny wire number 20 can do the <laughs> wiring for this control but i don't have it so what i'm using are used wires so i did not quotation for number 20 kids of wire here so here i'm going to supply also a neutral so both of my freezer sides are now connected and part three of this video is my chiller side connection and now i'm going to wire up the sensor line we have a room sensor and evaporator sensor now i'm going to tap here on the connector so when i connect this to the unit we have a connector to make the connection easy and simple and after this we are done thanks for watching everyone